my homesteading project. I have been getting a lot of questions about spinning and uh, so I thought I'd show you today how I started spinning um, because I've been getting a lot of questions about what to buy, what's best, what's easiest and a lot of it is just personal preference but it doesn't cost a lot to get started and I just wanted to show you how I started out. So it was a natural progression for me to start making my own yarn because I do a lot of knitting and crocheting. And so in turn, I wanted, I just decided that I wanted to make my own yarn. Um, and so I went out and I found someone who was selling some fiber, some fleece. And of course, the first time you buy fleece, you probably won't end up with top quality wonderful fleece because you don't really know what you're looking for yet but that's a whole nother video but so I came home and then I needed to spin it so this actually was not my first spin well part of it is my first spindle what I did was took a heavy piece of cardboard very heavy piece of cardboard and uh, made a traced a CD punched a hole in the middle and actually my first stick was a pencil I shoved a pencil through the top, put the little hook in the eraser, and that was my very first spindle. Totally materials that I had around the house. Then I did dig up a dowel and change the pencil out to a dowel. So this really is all you need to get started. A lot of people do make them with actual CDs and a grommet on, on, the, uh, on the dowel and you can do that as well. It does not have to be expensive um, to start out because you want to see if this is something you even really want to do, if it's something you enjoy doing, um, if it's worth the time and, and energy for you to do it. So you don't want to spend a lot of money on materials. So this basically is how I spend for the first few months that I was spinning and then I went ahead and decided I loved it and had been keeping my eyes out and got myself a spinning wheel. Now the nice thing about making your own spindle, um, drop spindle, is that you can decide do you want the world at the top, do you want the world at the bottom. At the top I guess they say that it spins more true. If you have the world farther towards the bottom it's supposed to spin faster. And another thing to keep in mind is that weight. If you want to spin, as you can see, I spin pretty fine yarn. Um, if you want to spin fine yarns, you want a very lightweight spindle. If you want to spin something bulkier, you're going to want a heavier spindle. And so how I solved that problem was, I should have got this out ahead of time, when I want to spin heavier yarns, all I do is I have a couple little washers that I can put that on there. If I need more weight, I can put another washer on there to make the spindle heavier. So that's another thing that's kind of an advantage to having your own spindle. And actually, if you buy a spindle, you can go ahead and if you need it to be heavier, you can just put uh, the washers on there as well. So this was something that I made totally easy in just, you know, a few minutes, threw it together, and you're spinning yarn. Now obviously you're not going to get a high production, but you can spin quite a bit of yarn pretty quickly on, on one of these. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, this is something that I kind of made recently, and this is a supported spindle. And it was real easy to make with uh, a whole saw and a dowel. And then I just have a little Japanese bowl that I got at a thrift store to use for my base, for my support. But so that's something that I kind of thought, oh, I'd like to try to do that. And so I made my own support spindle. So it doesn't have to cost a lot of money um, to spin, it doesn't have to be a big investment. But I do advise that you make something yourself, experiment, and decide whether or not it's truly something that, that you want to get into and whether or not it's worth 
your time. So I just wanted to show you those today. My uh, top world drop spindle and my bottom whirl suspended or uh, supported spindle. So hopefully that helps you guys who are interested in getting started. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and be sure to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you later, you guys. And remember, God is good. Thank you.